What's up, you guys? Long time no see. My name is Coach Coco, and I love volleyball. So today I have a volleyball vlog for you that I did back in June of a pretty intense game. This is probably the most intense game that I've posted on my channel thus far, but nowhere near the most intense game I've played in my life. But I really wanted you guys to see what volleyball looks like with rotation, with higher level players, with a high intense game, all of that. So that's what we're gonna be watching today. But long time no see. So I thought to myself, most of my volleyball vlogs I narrate with text. What if I narrate this with me? How fun is that? So as we watch this volleyball game, I will give you comments, tips and tricks on things that are happening. So that way we can better understand the choices that were made and possibly a better choice. So in this video, you should be watching things that you particularly wanna work on. So if you wanna work on learning how to hit better or hit harder, take the notice of the players that are hitting and swinging like nobody's business. If you wanna learn how to receive the ball well, take notice of players who are receiving the ball well. It's always important to look at game footage because game footage can give you insight into things of a possible scenario. When I was learning how to play volleyball, I watched game footage. And this is before volleyball YouTube started to get together. So I was watching like college games Games and high school games but I was really looking at the technique that I should be emulating so that way I can learn to play better and that's another reason why I make this content for y'all because I want you guys to be so good I want you to be so good so this game took place when a couple of my friends and I decided to go to Chapel Hill and like, what the heck, let's go play at Chapel Hill. It's a little bit higher of intensive play than where we're from. So I was like, okay, let's do it. So this is the team that we're on and uh, we played all night, but I thought this game was too lit. So I was like, let me go ahead and record this because this is about to be it. So I'm an outside hitter. I played middle in high school for quite some time. I was actually trained as a middle, but was middle my favorite thing? Not at all, y'all, not at all. I like playing outside because I like to hit a lot and middle doesn't hit as much. They really block more, more so block. So when I got to college, I was like, look, look, look. I need to change my career. I'm going to outside. I retired from middle, okay? I'm too old now. No, I'm not. I'm really not, y'all. I'm 24. But uh, I like the outside so, 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 so much. So here I'm playing outside, but we are running a 5-1, which means there is one setter and five hitters circulating around that setter. And the setter, he is in the cargo shorts with the gray top. But um, right now, well, I hope I get it. Okay, so right now, we're really trying to work on our defense because I believe our point score was down and we're in a very odd rotation right now. So most people are in their natural spot, but this one, I think this was a point where we had a, we were down a serve for quite some time. You see me diving on the ground. We were down a serve for quite some time and we were trying to figure out how to rotate. I get a lot of questions from a lot of you guys asking, how do you know what position to play? What is the best position for me? And for me, I can only speak on my personal experience. And when I first started playing volleyball, I knew I was gonna be a hitter. I have a ton of upper body strength. I was like arm wrestling champ in middle school, bro. So I knew that that's something that I wanted to do. But my coach gave me the opportunity to try different positions first. So I tried my hand at setting, wasn't eh tried my hand at passing, eh. Then I went to hit and I was like, this, this is it. This is it for me. So for me, hitting came natural. Setting, I had to learn over time. Passing, I had to learn over time. But I did have a natural inclination for hitting. So when I play front row, I am much, much, much more comfortable with the game. I know, I feel, um, liberated almost because I know exactly how to control the ball. Front row is my thing, y'all. I am beast at the net. I remember my first experience with volleyball was when I went to a Campbell University camp when I was, uh, what was I, in 10th grade? I was in 10th grade. And I had never played volleyball before. I had never hit, I never rotated. And I was so confused. I was so confused. But they took the time to really tell me, hey, you know, 
it's okay. We're going to show you. Calm down. We're going to show you. And I was like, okay, okay. So I got onto the standing box and I sat there and I hit a couple balls. I hit a couple balls, hit a couple balls. And I really felt it. I really, really felt it. And it really connected with me. And I think that's the first moment where I really connected with volleyball and thought to myself, this could be something that I could do for a long time. And it's something that I still do now. I, I love playing volleyball multiple times a week. I feel like if I don't, I get a little cranky. <laughs> so even though, even now, even now in adulthood, I love playing volleyball. So when you guys, some of you guys email me and you um, DM me like, if I don't make my team, will I be able to play? Yes. Yes, you will. I have plenty of people that I know in real life, plenty of people that are, you are watching in this vlog right now have never played high school, have never played middle school, played because they love it, learned in adulthood, learned now. Some of them I'm showing now. So they love volleyball and volleyball is for everyone. I don't want you to be discouraged because of middle school or high school or you had a coach that you felt like snuffed you or you had teammates that you felt like snuffed you or you started too late or you want to try now. Girl, boy, you can do anything you put your mind to. So you want to go out there and you want to play volleyball. You want to go and you want to make your team. You want to become a great player. Do it. Do it. Because you can do it. You really can. Let's say you're a middle schooler and you want to go and play volleyball, but you've never had experience. First, go look for some local leagues in your area. There's recreational leagues for youth. See if there's a local coach around. See if your parents know anybody who's played volleyball to get some coaching. Go out there and get it. Wake up every day and go out there and get it. You want to become a really great player. When I was learning how to play volleyball, I went to every summer workout there was. No matter how early it was, every summer weightlifting, every summer workout. I was there. Tears. Not any blood, but tears. I was there. I was there because I wanted it. And I really, really wanted it. I'm not going to lie to you to say there were some times that I thought, I am not going to be able to do this. I am going to quit. I can't do this. This is ridiculous. There are times that I thought that. Really, there are times that I thought that. But I pushed through and I, and I persevered. And I feel so grateful for what I did then because it has made me a phenomenal player now. And I've learned so much in volleyball from my intrinsic motivation, which means that I motivated myself to get something that I wanted. And I want to teach you guys how to learn how to find that motivation within yourself to get what you want, whether that's volleyball, whether that's good grades, to go to a good school, to become an artist, to become an engineer. That's what I want to do. I want to be able to inspire you to inspire yourself. I am a firm believer that everyone needs somebody in their life to push them. Somebody in their life to say, hey, it's going to be okay, but go out there and get it. And if that has to be me, hey, yo, I will do that for you. I want to inspire you to be the best volleyball player that you can be, to be the best student that you can be, to be the best person that you can be. So that's what I try to do. Did I intend for this volley chat to become somewhat emotional? No, of course not. But I really want you guys to believe in yourself. I really want you to believe in yourself. And I want you to go out there and believe in yourself. So even when we're having a hard day in volleyball, because I've had a ton of hard days in volleyball, a ton, I want you to remember what you started it for. So what I want you to do is I want you to write down one reason in the comment section of why you started volleyball. One reason. So when it gets hard, you come back and look at it and you see it and you remember what you did it for. I'll be checking them. Thank you for watching this volley chat. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, oh, oh.